What's up, NFL fans? I'm Emery Hunt, the czar of the playbook, and don't forget to check out and purchase your copy of our latest football game plan book, Stiff Arming Football Myths. We have these available in both PDF and paperback form. There's this cat out of Illinois State. Where? Illinois State, in between Chicago and St. Louis, which in a way is similar to this cat I'm talking about. Who? Shag. They call him Shag. You see, he plays tight end, which sits in between the two wide receivers on the outside. He's not a complicated man and is more than willing to help out his brother man, or in this sense, his teammates. He's a tight end in the truest football definition of the term. He plays in line. He blocks well, catches well and has made himself into one of the better tight ends in the country. Can you dig that? I can dig it. So needless to say that this cat Shag is a bad mother. Shut your mouth. I'm just talking about James O'Shaughnessy, and this is his small college spotlight. Welcome to footballgameplan.com, where football makes sense. I'm Emery Hunt, the czar of the playbook, Bring you our 2015 NFL Draft Special. We're taking a look at Illinois State's tight end, James O'Shaughnessy, in our 2015 Small College Spotlight to see why O'Shaughnessy is one of the more underrated tight end prospects in this year's draft class. I want to first start off by breaking down the blocking and physical nature of O'Shaughnessy's game because in my opinion, this is the lost art of the position nowadays. You see right here, aligned as an H-back, a well-executed wham block by Shag. His block gives the running back the lane and Marshawn Colbridge doesn't have to break stride. That's textbook right there. He explodes his hips into the block and gets the end man on the line of scrimmage out of the way. Now I'll show you three textbook down blocks from the end line spot. The first one, power step is explosive. He gets the outside shoulder and washes down the defensive end. The second one, he down blocks the first threat, which is at the second level, and boom, clears the path on the power play. And finally, the defensive end walks out, and now he has to down block the first threat, second level again, and boom, you see right there, executes it flawlessly. Next here is a great stalk block versus the slot defender. Great technique here. Pins him in and gives the back a lane. Next, let's look at the reach block. Up at the top of the screen, O'Shaughnessy reaches the defensive end. The back is able to get the corner, and you can tell he was well coached at Illinois State. You rarely see this nowadays from tight ends, and the last block we'll look at is a seal block. O'Shaughnessy comes across the formation and is able to seal the edge, which gives the quarterback a lane to run through, so you can check off the can he block box for James O'Shaughnessy in multiple areas. And I just want to throw this last clip in here. Here's a guy that plays tight end, the starting tight end for Illinois State that's out there covering kicks on kickoffs, and he goes down and makes the tackle. I saw this live in the FCS championship game versus North Dakota State. He did the same exact thing. So not only can he block, he can also play special teams. And again, the more you can do, the longer you're able to stick in the league. Now let's take a look at the receiving aspect of his game. And the first thing that jumps out at you is how he's comfortable with bodies around him. This is important. O'Shaughnessy is able to make contested catches consistently in the FCS title game versus North Dakota State. You see a great illustration of that. Shag is able to focus on the ball, secure the catch, then have the wherewithal to break a tackle and score. Here in the red zone during a two-point attempt, you see O'Shaughnessy fight for the spot and ends up making the catch. Now here's a good piece of athleticism versus Appalachian State. O'Shaughnessy runs an out and up and is able to turn his body completely around, keep both feet in bounds, and make an athletic grab. That shows you excellent athleticism as well as hand-eye coordination. For a guy that's 6'5", 245 pounds, O'Shaughnessy shows very good run after the catch skills. He's a very fluid athlete, part of which you can chalk up to genetics as his dad was a college basketball player and his mom ran track in college. What the position in today's game requires is that a guy has to be a threat in the passing game. Can he force the defense to account for him, which opens up other options in the passing game? You can easily answer yes to that question watching O'Shaughnessy. As far as his hands are concerned, he catches the ball well away from his body. It's always catching the football with his hands. He tracks the ball well, and he can also create separation before and after the catch. When I talk about before the catch, I'm talking about with his route running and after the catch once he has the football in his hands. All of which, in my opinion, is why you see I graded him out as a second-round prospect, and he's my fourth overall tight end. Like I mentioned earlier, he can play in line, flex, or as an H-back in any offensive attack. 
Now, this is a good piece of route running right here. You're going to see O'Shaughnessy fight back across the face of the defender and reach out, make the grab a contested catch once again, and still break a tackle and gain positive yards. You can't get this from wide receivers nowadays, let alone tight ends. And he does a great job each and every time. He loves playing the game. You can tell he plays with a passion. And he also mastered the little nuances of keeping the ball away from the defender by posting him up and extending to make the catch. And finally, versus Ball State, you're going to see two great examples of hand-eye coordination and athleticism by O'Shaughnessy right here. Look at the throw. Boom. Across the middle of the field, he has to turn all the way around, locate the football, catch it with his hands, and secure the catch. That was a great job by O'Shaughnessy. In the second example, you're going to see O'Shaughnessy run the rail route down the sideline, a pseudo out and up. The ball is underthrown. He turns around, again, contorts his body, makes the catch, secures the catch, and stays in bounds. That was a great job by Shag. So in conclusion, while everyone is talking about this tight end or that tight end coming out of the Midwest this year, make sure they talk about Shag. It's okay to say his name, James O'Shaughnessy, one of the most underrated tight end prospects in the country and one that I believe you definitely will hear a lot of moving forward.